Sean Sport in podcast form. Caitlin Bassett's in here. She's been a docker for a day. I got to be a docker for a day last <laughs> Thursday, and it was, I'm not going to lie, made me miss being an elite athlete so much. So, what so, is it? Is it the camaraderie? Is it being part of the team? It's just is everything. It the... Like, I got in there at 10 30. They had a leadership meeting. We yeah. did some work on gratitude, and I froth on that type oh, of stuff. Okay. Yes. Stuff that makes you a better person that's then going to help you out in the field. Yeah. I really love. Um, then I got to chat to a few of the girls and stand it on your tie. I sat down and had some good chats with them. Um, they did gym. I watched them do gym. I did mm-hmm. not do, mm-hmm. do I want a question. Why not? Because I'm sure the doc of the day, they've never ever had one come in where they go potentially they could play ruck for us. Well, th- I got to join in their ruck craft of and then... Did. Thankfully, because ASICs had gifted me a pair of boots, I got the boots out and got to run out into the field with them and do some ruck craft training, which I'd never done before. I've never even really kicked a football before, but so you, it was you very entertaining. have been talking about wanting to play AFLW. I have, this is... It's one of those things, and as a spectator, you watch and you go, oh, I could, I could do, that. do that. Yeah, and when you get out there, I was I couldn't get the boot to the ball. <laughs> like, that's how vocal I was. <laughs> I could tap the ball down, and my yes. reach obviously helped. And some yeah. netball skills kind of transferred. I, um, I'm used to muscle up and getting yes, like on a hole. Yes. Yes. But you'd also be able to recognise space, which is important. This is true. And so I could, I maybe wasn't in the best position at times, but I could kind of manoeuvre and get around and tap down to someone who would then come yes. and kick a goal. But when they said, oh, Seabass, just grab this one with two hands yourself, pretend you're Sabrina you're like, Frederick, no, thank you. just <laughs> grab it out of a stoppage and put it on the boot and kick a goal. And I just did a fresh air and everyone just, <laughs> it was like cricket. <laughs> All of mine would be fresh air. I, I, how tall are you again? 6'4". Is there, what is the tall? Tallest AFLW player. I don't think there's many ruckmen at anywhere near Caitlin's side. That's no. my point. It's like God, you'd be they'd, they'd be wanting to get their hands on you. But do you know why? It's because tall people are not fantastic runners, <laughs> and to be a good ruck, you've got to be able to run. Yeah. Is that true? So you well, can't absolutely. run. So you're not a good run at all. Oh god, no. Like, what do you mean? Slow uh, or yeah, awkward? Both. <laughs> like my body, it's just not put together and made to run. Like if you look <laughs> at my back, like it's just not a running. Think body. about the position she played. She was the goal shooter. Yeah, yeah. she was. I got, got, got you the ball. When I you got, got yelled at hoop. if I ran in netball. So imagine really? that. Oh god, yeah. Because like, I want you to look like an idiot. Stand still, and we will get the ball to you. You're bringing the team into disrepute. What are you in centimeters? See that? One nine four. Yeah. So there's somebody you're. She played Aaron. Oh, for yes, and she's a Geelong. netballer. So she's yeah. an ex netballer from the Vixens. Yeah. And we're seeing lots of cross coders now. Verity Simmons, I got to chat to her yes. during the week. She's the West Coast Fever player that's now playing AFLW. Wow. And she was saying, for her, the hardest thing about preseason this year has been the Ks. Just getting yes. the Ks in her legs has been ridiculous. Yeah, they used to have this theory that you'd have to uh, train a season to play one. And I'm not sure if that's the way to go, but you need to be able to stretch your VO2 to a point where uh, you can have, afford to have day offs, mm. but because your body's adjusted to the level, yes. that you'll be able to you know, deal with that time away for it. But, yeah, it's hardcore because... Mm. It's a lot of wide open space and, for a goal shooter who and the never girls went are going, outside the ring. <laughs> the girls are going from a level that they've been, you know, compared to the boys, yes. are 20 years more advanced in, in that terminology. But they're trying to fast track them as much as possible. Yes. So it's really difficult. It is difficult. But you know what really impressed me? Like the focus that they put into doing skills and they had deadly time. They went out onto the basketball um, courts and did some skill stuff. And so I feel like the more time you spend on those skills and drills, the more it just starts to become naturally and the game sense stuff will start to flow. But some of these girls are incredible. Ash Brazel, she can pick the ball up, gets on the run, like, even when they run and bounce the ball on the go, I'm like, how? Yeah. Can I tell you? I've, yeah. never, I've never been able to run with a football bounce and have it come back at me. Yeah, I know. It just goes. <laughs> that to me is a magic trick. It, it, is, it is difficult. Yeah. 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 So, it? I mean, yeah. it was great also well, just being in that environment at Fremantle Dockers. Like, it's elite. The boys were in there getting ready to head away for their away game against GWS. So, the boys and the girls are kind of co-mingling. They really share that oh, space. Like um, the Ali, Ali Mobile bathrooms. Yeah. <laughs> Great reference. Yeah. Remember that? Oh, my God, they're peeing in the same room. But it's good to get a sense because you wouldn't have been inside those AFL walls of what level they're at. And you can see that obviously they're pushing towards one goal, which is to win. Because if you finish second and you think about a business, right, if you have a great year and you're 80% right up there or 60%, you've had a good year. Yeah. Unless you're 100%, the That's number right. one at the end of the day, everyone's a failure. Yeah, um, so it makes it. That's the nature of the game, it, isn't it? it? Yeah, it and it's funny the AFL captain, AFLW captains, got together yesterday, and no one tipped Fremantle to win the flag, even though they've had success yeah, in the wow. past during the COVID year. They finished top, like yes. they had the chance to. They should have. The oh, they would have won. Yeah. So I yeah. find that really wild. I think over here they're kind of flying under the radar. I've been in and um, seen how Daisy's going about things at West Coast Eagles as well, and both what teams different, completely different. Yeah, so, right. Uh, Daisy, obviously, first year as coach, she's yeah. got a lot of young players. It, it's 
a lot about learning and really encouraging them to be uh, competitive um, and to be brave to go out there and try new things. Yeah. Um, the Frio side of things is definitely very family orientated, and Lisa Webb has two kids, and um, it feels very family and. Um, connected oh, that's that interesting. way. So it's really cool. Mm. Hey, um, something we were talking about earlier on this morning and we seem to have a really weird percentage falling in one category is the side of the bed that you sleep on. <laughs> so when you're facing your bed... Which side do you sleep? If I look and the pillow's at the top, yep. I yes. sleep on this side. Left, that's left. the left. That's the left. Same as all of us. Is that okay? All of is that normal? We all can't sleep us. together because oh. um, we'd all be on the I mean, side. I could sleep on the other side. I don't really care, to be mm. honest. That is all of us, except for Sam, who does digital hair. Why? Uh, is that, do you know what? For me, it's further away from the bedroom door. Oh, for me, it's closer to the door. Oh. Yeah. So it's, For me, it's further away from the door. Yeah. It's like if you need me, to go to the bathroom, it's that. It's close to oh, that. Oh, no. So for me, if someone broke in, they'd attack my partner first, yeah. not me, because he's closest to the a single Kayla. Uh, Kayla, it goes, uh, you know, he sits on the he sits on the right side of my bed. Is my iPad. So if the person breaks in, they'll hopefully go. Oh, that's an iPad Pro, and they'll take that and leave yeah. me alone. <laughs> that's your early warning system. Yeah. Does and your dog sleep on the bed? Uh, no, he's not he's allowed a, on he's the a bed. Big boy, yeah. he does. Yeah. Uh, my boyfriend's away at the moment, traveling for work, and he does on the first night get up into the bed because oh. it's like, oh, there's a spare spot, but he knows two nights in a row is a no-no. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 that's so yeah. cute. But he's too yeah. old to get up on the bed. Now. Steve, that's good to have you in here. You'll be covering the waffle this weekend. Oh, I'm doing East Perth and Peel, top of the table clash. I'm very nervous so about that. So boundary riding, yeah? Boundary riding. So last week I got to do it uh, for the first time ever. It's torrential rain. Yes. Uh-huh. They're about to call the game off because there's thunderstorms. It's not going to cost those people that are covering a cyclone. Yes. The way, it's like that. They've been blown into the sea. And they said, do a weather update. And I'm like, it's, <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I want boots that are ruined. So well, I'm I've ready got some for bad news two. for you. Right. Is it Saturday uh, or it's Sunday? Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Bad, bad news. Yeah. Bad it's going to be a great game. Um, well, well, tune in to see <laughs> that standing in the rain. Great web. Sean Sport in podcast form. So, overnight we would have seen that Yannick Sinner tested positive to yes. an anabolic mm. steroid. It's extraordinary. Yeah. It's an amazing story because they're saying that his physio, uh, his trainer went to, say, the chemist and got his physio some cream mm. that was going on an open cut. Yes. The cream went on the physio's uh, hands and then that physio then treated Yannick Sinner over a course of and about it had a, a steroid week. In okay. it. And then that went into... Yannick's body, Nathan, mm. and so therefore he wasn't cheating at all. He wasn't. It, it, it was unbeknown uh, to him. Do we believe that this? this? Entered the, his body. The only like, the only time I've heard of something like this happening is during Big Bang Theory, where Howard is becomes very emotional, right? Mm. And then um, he goes to Bernadette, his wife. Bernadette, she works at a drug company. Can you get me more of this cream because I've been rubbing it on my mum's uh, feet for the last however long? Yeah. And then she says, "Wait there," and she reads it. And she goes, "That's full of um, estrogen." Mm. And she said, and that's, that's now why seeped so into emotional. your skin yes. and it's taken, yeah. So, so it has happened on a sitcom. You do- <laughs> <laughs> it is true that you can absorb things through your skin. Yes. We yes. know that. Yes. So it doesn't even have to be an open no. wound. Mm. It, it is possible that you could... Uh, and why you would be rubbing cream into an open wound anyway? Yes, that, 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 yeah, that's a bit suspicious. Yeah, yeah, that one. yeah that, they've yeah, thrown that in. It's weird. Like, I don't weird. know. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, Nick Curious has come out and said, are you kidding me? Yes. He's tested pot twice twice to this. So... Are you joking? But um, have they tested his know. physio's hands? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, the, yeah. By that, the physio the should physio be testing should positive for the same thing. Well, that's right. Hopefully, mm. they've gone down that route, and then we can mm. go. Okay, well, it kind of makes sense. Not it's just w- taking their so word the physio's for it. just like licking that stuff right yeah. now, isn't yeah. it? Like trying to so help them out. it's weird. What's weird to me is that he hasn't been suspended pending further investigation. Right? I because agree. That happens in every other sport. Shana Jack, who was ultimately oh, yeah. exonerated, yeah, she she, she sat out for three years. Yeah. She missed did. an Olympics, and he's not even missing a tournament. No, no, he just got some prize money and some ranking yeah. points taken, taken off. Him. Oh, good, he can buy so, some more of that cream. <laughs> <laughs> it is interesting. I wonder if there'll be more fallout from this uh, as well. And I'm sure we're going to hear from some other tennis players who come out and say, "I'm not happy with this at no. all." Yeah. We'll wait and see what happens there. So the Fremantle Dockers play their last game of the season, um, twenty twenty four this week. We don't know how it's going to go. Right? Yeah, you're saying because, like, you just said last game of the season, the home and away season. I, I, I expect it's going to go against them. <laughs> I do. Oh, okay. Just, what, what, things because things suddenly started looking up A few for them. weeks ago <laughs> when I said to Nathan, yeah. he asked me the question, I said, Fremantle play in the finals. Yeah. I mean, on, obviously they're, yes. they're a centimetre away from being second yeah. on the ladder at yes. that stage. You might as well be standing over a pile of chicken bones pouring goat's blood in your yes. head. That was voodoo. Yeah, well, and, that's and the you said the West voodoo. Coast would definitely finish last as well. Yeah, well, they yes. were lucky. They were lucky. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I... Uh, 
kept away from the football club just to make sure that I don't bring any, any bad will any towards bad them. Yeah, but yeah. my friend Sam, he's been down at the Fremantle Football Club in the last 24 hours just mm. to be a part of the Dockers Why? vibe. Why have you been down there? Oh, ask my mum. She got um, into this thing and they invited a couple fans down to be in the video. You the competition? Yeah. <laughs> and... So they're like, do you want to come down is, and be in... Is uh, your mum the docker for a day? <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Oh, no, she's the biggest nuffy. She's like the h- biggest Dockers fan ever. But she's like, can you please come with me? Because I put your name down as well. Yeah. And so, of course, the, the, the first thing I want to do after I finished my eight-hour shift here mm. is to go down and hang out with the Fremantle Dockers. Yeah, COVID. Um, Hi, Sean Darcy. <laughs> I yeah. saw you last week at work. Ooh. Um, no, but, yeah, actually a really good time. What did um, you do? We just like had a chat with Caleb Sarong and Hamish Brayshaw <laughs> and um, Andrew, uh, Andy uh, Brayshaw. What, yeah, you know, uh, there's a Brayshaw on every corner. Yeah, there is, there is. Yeah. But no, they're, they're really, Carrie Bradshaw. Yeah, Carrie Bradshaw. <laughs> uh, was it getting filmed, Sam? What was the go? Yeah, I think they're um, getting a new sponsor. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Uh, well, and, you're, okay. you're, you're, and you're helping them. <laughs> <laughs> no, did but, did yeah. you get the sense they're going to win this weekend? They seemed like they were up and about, mm. you know, focusing on mm. um, football, full credit football. to the boys, yada, yada. <laughs> um, so I feel like with me being there, yes. they're getting the win this weekend. It, it, All right. it takes away from well, those well, bad Sean vibes. Yes, well, they're, they're looking at it and they're going, we're going to win for this kid. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what they're saying? I mean, we've never met someone so sad. <laughs> situation so that, so, dire. Dire. so <laughs> dire for a win. <laughs> well, we, we've seen heaps of sick kids. But this, this is we, we need. We, we're going to win for him because he needs it. <laughs> what they said, Samuel England, oh, well. <laughs> the wind beneath their wings. You are, weekend. you are. Yeah. They're well, we'll blowing see. them. Yeah. They, they might not get off the ground. So yeah, then, that then is it's so his true. fault. So Thanks, yeah, it could Sam. go either way. Well done. Mm. Well done. If they get Sam. the victory this week against Port Adelaide. It's all you, my friend. Sean Sport is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.